Hey, good morning, guys. I'm uh, back in the shop here. Um, it's goat, and I thought we need to get into this um, solar panel installation. If you guys remember my one of my last videos, I mentioned uh, that I bought some solar panels to install on the top of the bus. So I bought a kit off of Amazon, and it came with two of these panels plus the charge controller. Um, there's a bit of caution here. Uh, I bought this without measuring and so only one of these panels will fit on top of the bus. I did find another panel that I'm going to have to buy slightly smaller that will fit in the front portion of the bus uh, on the roof. So I am going to have two panels up there um, but these two large panels do not fit. Also these are semi-flexible panels which is kind I wanted. They're really, really thin. So I'm going to be putting this on top. I figured I'd videotape it. I'm going to um, use a method to install it that I got off another YouTuber who works on RVs. His channel is RVing or RV with Tito, a guy named Brian. He figured out a way to put these on so that you do not have to drill any holes into your roof structure. So Let's get to it. I'll show you what I did. We'll go on this journey together. Okay, so here's my thought process. On that uh, channel, RV with, T RV with Tito, uh, the guy Brian came up with this idea to mount these flexible solar panels on his roof without having to drill holes. Now he ran into some problems with his, so I made some improvements, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is I went and I bought this, uh, plastic, they call it plastic cardboard, I don't know if that's a real name or not, uh, stuff that's going to lay underneath the solar panel, okay, and what that does is it allows air to get beneath this solar panel, because what people have been having problems with is that these things, obviously they get very hot, okay, and they get hot and either they'll burn out a cell, or they get hot enough underneath here that can damage the roof of your uh, RV, or in my case, the Volkswagen. Um, they damage the fiberglass roof. So we're gonna put a layer under there that's gonna allow some air to travel or whatever, get underneath the, the, the panel for cooling, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is we have these plates that I bought. These are just uh, like some, some strong tie plates in the roofing section of your, your Lowe's or wherever and some uh, carriage bolts. So I drilled up one of the holes. I'm going to put the carriage bolt in there. I'm going to put it between these two. I'm going to use some wing nuts. panel to the plates. The plates are going to be attached to the cardboard through this white 
Elastabond tape. I haven't even opened this, obviously. Which um, is what most people use to tape these panels down or to tape over like wires or lines that they have up on the roof of their RV. Um, it's very long lasting, very, very strong tape. So, what happens is we're going to tape. this sucker down to the roof. We're going to put a little piece of tape so that overlaps part of the panel. It's going to go down onto the cardboard onto the roof. Right? This is orange wide tape. So it'll go from the edge of the panel to the cardboard to the roof on the sides. This side and that side. Okay, on the front, let me show you what we're going to do. Let me move you guys a little bit so you can see better. All right, so in the front, what I did was I bought some of this transition strip from Lowe's. Same thing that that guy did on his channel, um, real thin. Tin transition strip. Okay, and what that's going to help me do, this is going to be the front of the panel. Okay, front of the car is that way to prevent wind or to help this thing flapping in the wind. I cut one of these, I'm going to put it here, and we're going to tape that from here. Tape's going to hit the cardboard, it's going to come down to the front. So the air should have a nice smooth transition. There's still some room in here for air to get under here. Um, I'm not going to tape the back to allow a little bit of airflow and give this thing some cushion so it's not sitting directly on top of my, uh, my roof. All right. Here's the problem that Brian had on the other channel. When he went to remove this, he, he put some Loctite on these bolts. Let me see, am I in the picture? Yeah. Let me give you, let me zoom you guys in. Okay. He got his carriage bolts and he put some Loctite on them. Um, and they tightened fine, but when he went to take them off, the carriage bolt, because he had a, a round hole that he in his plate, just like this one, the carriage bolt, when he tried to remove it, the carriage bolt just spun, so he had a hell of a time getting the panel back up off this thing. So what I do, or what I am going to do, is demonstrate it on one of these. Let's see if I can figure out which one it is real quick. It's going to be the last one I check. There it is. Stand by. I take this carriage bolt, just make sure you guys can see what I'm going to do here. All right. This carriage bolt, carriage bolts in general, right? They have this, where are you? This square shoulder on the top of them, right? And that's to prevent them from turning. Well, if you put them into a round hole, try to loosen them up after they're tight for a little while, they just spin. So to prevent that, I made the round hole square. And how I did that was I simply took a socket. Hold on, let me get my plate. Took a socket. Well, nope, gotta switch, move you guys again. Let me back it up a little. Alright. And I took this plate, right, and the carriage bolt, and I beat it into the plate with a hammer. 
Okay. What that does is that prevents the carriage bolt from spinning so that when you are loosening this or trying to take this panel back up off, the carriage bolt will not spin when you're when you're loose when you're loosening your uh, your wing nut. So I'm sure people are gonna say that anybody can steal this panel um, off the top of the RV. It's actually this this tape, let me get wide again. This elastabon tape is actually really really tough uh, tape and I watched that guy try to remove some of this tape from the top of his uh, RV and it's not an easy thing to do. So it's going to give me at least a little measure of security having this elastabon tape on my at least two and a half of my edges of my panel. Okay, so that's the idea right now. So let's get uh, let's get into it. So here is the panel. I just put it up there temporarily so you guys can get an idea of what I'm working with. And uh, this is where it's going to lay. I put that paper on top. I'll tell you why in a reason. Uh, I'll tell you the reason in a minute, I should say. Um, so as you can see, it's the panel sitting on top of the plate, which is sitting on top of this plastic uh, cardboard stuff. So, that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to get set up with some alcohol to clean the surface. And then uh, we'll get the elastabond out here. And we'll put this sucker down and see, uh, see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. 